We have seen an insane rise in popularity and being a YouTube golfer in the last couple of years. This has everyone wondering, how much do these YouTube golfers actually make? Today, we're gonna break down all the different ways these YouTube golfers are making money, and we're gonna tell you how much they're actually making. And what better company to start with than the one and only Good Good Golf. This is a very lucrative business, so they're making money in many different ways. We're gonna break this down line by line. Also, this data, this information that we're coming from is coming from a few different places. One is coming from just being friends with some people in the atmosphere us doing some YouTube stuff as well. And then also what we can find online through companies like Social Blade. We have a pretty good idea of being in the same space as them on a much smaller scale, but we've also been able to talk to some of the top creators in this space who make a ton of money. So AdSense, a lot of people gonna say, what is AdSense, Connor? What, what, what does that mean? Are you making money just from people viewing your channel, viewing your YouTube videos? How do you make money? What is AdSense? AdSense is what YouTube pays you for your views. They use a, a term called CPM, which is cost per mile. The cost per mile, what that stands for is every thousand views, you get paid this amount of dollars. For a lot of YouTube channels, a $15 CPM would be a really good CPM. But for companies like Good Good that have these, you know, hour long videos uh, with a really high retention rate, we've heard CPMs up in the 50 and even higher cost per mile range. These are movies. You're basically watching movies on your yeah. YouTube channel. We broke this down for you. So with a based off a CPM for them of $50, which we've told can actually be on the lower end of some of their videos. That means for every thousand views, they're getting paid $50. So if you look on Social Blade at how many views they had just in the last month, over 12 million views. So with that $50 CPM, that is $600,000 just last month. 12 months in a year. That's a lot of math. That's a lot of money, dude. $7.2 million just off of their AdSense. This is just off the money YouTube is paying them. They're making $600,000 roughly a month just from their YouTube channel. Just that alone would be a phenomenal business. But what we know because of what their CEO said on an interview, he said that their AdSense money only accounts for around 20% of their business which is wild. Part of building a YouTube channel is making sure you have income in other forms than just your AdSense. And they've done a phenomenal job at that, which brings us to our next category. Not only does Good Good get AdSense money from their main Good Good Golf channel, they've also got their Good Good Extras channel, they've got their Good Good Podcast channel. And they had a Good Good Gaming channel for a while as well. <laughs> and, and this is just Good Good. So all these guys that have their personal channels, channels are making separate money mm -hmm. from that as well. If the main page is pulling in 20% of their business, we would think their other pages would pull in a little less than 10%, maybe even less than that. Um, you know, the watch time isn't going to be as high on those other pages. They still are going to have uh, a pretty high CPM. I would say that's between five and 10%, which is going to be like between one and $3 million a year. Mm -hmm. And now for the biggest section where we think they make most of their money is... It's their merchandise. This is all yeah. their good, good branded apparel. So that's their clothes, that's the putters, that's the accessories. And now they just launched as well in Dick Sporting Goods and on Golf Galaxy. So now not, they're not just private retailers. They can go and buy on their own channel. They're now outsourcing it to other companies for them to sell in their pro shops as well as in their golf sporting goods stores. This is, we would assume what, 50 to 60% of their whole entire revenue would be in merchandise. Yeah, I would think so. And and Adam works in sporting goods and, and I've worked in similar industry, which is the entertainment and music. And I know in that world, usually for artists, 60-ish percent of their income is actually coming from their merch sales on tour as well. So. In a similar fashion, when you have a company that's become this big, Good Good has become a very recognizable brand. It makes sense for 50 to 60% of their income for the business to come from that merch. We would think that they're making around 20 to $22 million a year from those merch sales, which is crazy. And it might it sound is. wild, but you gotta think about how big a company like, uh, you know, Nike Golf, how much Nike Golf makes, you know, probably upwards of a billion dollars. A company like this, you'll go to the range right now and you'll see good, good apparel, you know, on a golfer about every and time I go to the range. Milk Boys, you know mm -hmm. who they are, Connor? Yeah. They, they do almost a million dollars worth of apparel, just apparel a year. A year or a month? A year, a hundred million a year. Oh, a hundred. I just said one million. No, no, no. One hundred million a year in just oh, wow. merchandise, apparel sales. Us saying Good Good's making twenty-one to twenty-two million might be even on the shy side, but Good Good also mm -hmm. hasn't been around as long. 
and it is more of a niche following where it's golfers. Making 20 to 21 million a year on merchandise is a pretty darn good business. And I think this is just going to be the tip of the iceberg. And for the other 10 to 20% of income, this actually may even be the biggest section for a lot of YouTube golfers. That's going to be their partnerships, right? So um, similar to how Good Good just signed a deal with Callaway, obviously they have their own clothing that they sell. Uh, but people like the Brian Bros, Busta Jack, Rick Shields, even a lot of these guys that don't have their own clothing lines, they have partnerships with, you know, Travis Matthews or mm -hmm. Callaway Roback or, or Roback. Pin Golf, Blue Tees and Iron Brands like Tacoma, where they're playing mm -hmm. these athletes and these creators to wear or use their equipment slash apparel. And that's where the most of their money, because they're actually signing a contract. We're going to pay you X amount, let's say, to use their irons. We're paying you $10,000 to use this range finder, $10,000 a month to be able to use this. And you're signing an X amount dollar contract. And within that contract, you're also having um, rights saying they can use their image for another fee as well on their mm -hmm. own marketing campaigns. I know I keep saying lucrative a lot, but YouTube and social media is a very, very lucrative business right now. The YouTubers pull so much weight in the marketing space where they have millions of followers every single day watching their YouTube videos. That partnership section is gonna be a lot bigger of a percentage for a lot of those other people, but that's because the whole section of merch, you know, something you might wear in your body, good, good, has cut out, but they're making money on it because they've become their own brand. They bet on themselves and it's obviously been paying off. So that comes out to a total yearly year income of, I would say on the low end, 35 to $36 million. Yeah, I could even see this now with the new merchandise going in stores, mm -hmm. pushing the 50 to $55 million a year. And for anyone that is listening and understands business, you know that doesn't mean they just have $36 million sitting in the bank right now. They probably have a few million, you know, but the reality is they do have expenses they have to pay out. Big trips that they go on if they're not covered. Um, they have their athletes, which I think we've heard they pay their athletes about five grand each if they're, you know, many if there are lower level pro golfers or college golfers but then yep. even guys like luke who came into the mix later and who isn't you know an owner of the good good llc he's probably on a salary where he's getting paid yearly to do these videos and be in the group you know so you gotta think about people like that hey which is which is not a a, a bad gig to have could you imagine being able to travel the world and get a paid a pretty pretty good dime and uh, show up and play some some pretty good golf every every once a month Bro, kind of absolutely. That's a that's a phenomenal job. I would take that job over being an accountant any day, you know? We would think that these categories are going to be pretty straightforward and very similar breakdowns in other companies that are doing YouTube golf as well. Yeah, and let us know what you think in the comments. Do you think we're close? Do you think we're way off? Do you think they're making $100 million a year? Do you think they may be able to make it $5 million? I don't think yeah. it's that low, but let us know what you think. We're excited to see what happens and kind of expand and talk on the more business side of things of YouTube golf moving forward. Absolutely. Hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll see y'all next time.